funny bone. Ladies, he told me he thinks your funny bones in your clitoris. Get ready for Dan Ursa. Take that. Going on. Yeah. Earlier today, when I wasn't drinking, actually I was drinking, I was having an orgy with my friend Samuel Adams and Mary Jane. I smoked a shitload of pot and drove a drink, a shitload of beer before I came here to entertain you motherfuckers. So I hope you enjoy it. I quit my job uh, two weeks ago. Two months ago, two weeks ago. I do a lot of drugs so this shit gets fucked up in my head. I think it was two months ago though. Uh, I worked at a video store and I didn't dig it too much, so I thought about ways that I could invest what money I did have. And I don't have much money, I don't trust the banks because Wall Street's full of fucking crooks and liars. I think we can all agree on that. So I went to the bar like most unemployed people do. Drink my sorrows away. And I was sexually assaulted by a 65-year-old woman. Yeah, I was! Yeah, I was. This isn't a joke, this is some real shit. But fortun fortunately, I was drinking and I smoked some weed before I went, so I was able to handle it appropriately. But it made me think. It really didn't make me think. What the fuck are we doing? Start fucking old bitches. <laughs> Think about it, you find a 65 year old at the bar is willing to suck your dick, grab it, take it, because you know what, in five years she'll be dead. You've got, you've got her dead husband's pension, a new Buick, and if you're lucky enough, a nice house to entertain the bitches at the wake. Smart man. Hell yeah, I'm a smart man. I'll give you six more reasons. Hard candy on demand. That's right. I like to smoke, and we can't smoke here, so I need something to see the like oral pictures. You know what I'm saying? And Flo's dead. She's too old for time out. No longer do you have to worry about fucking in the shower seven days out of the month. No, sir. No, sir. She probably got a chair in there, so when you're not over, you wash your balls. Detroit Tigers, is that when you're facing a potential playoff berth, you don't go with Rick Purcell. You're a rookie, you're a rookie pitcher. You want to go with Justin Verlander, he's been there in 06. He choked in 06, but he's been there. An old lady will fuck like you're a prom date, only better. Because she's been there before. Yeah, you think it's gross, but wait till you got a $100,000 check in your bank account the day after the funeral, sir. Yeah. It's a good time. That's a whole lot of Patron, sir. That's all right. Young bitches, though, man. I, I, was, I was entertaining the lady. I don't want to believe what I did. And she, was, uh, she wasn't a, uh, a slack-jawed, low-rent trailer tramp. She got, her, she got her college degree. And we knew each other in high school. And she broke up with her boyfriend. She's trying to get... Trying to talk to me. So we started texting, and I had to work one night, so she couldn't come over, but the next night I was off. So I'm like, well, we're going to play some beer pong, come on over. So she comes over, and we don't play beer pong, we drink some beers. And, you know, we start, we start drinking a little beer, but we're not playing beer pong. We're not getting rowdy yet. So we're drinking, we go into my bedroom. She tells me she wore her fucking pants. So at least you believe that she's kind of smart, she knew what was going on with the situation, what we were doing. I didn't have a condom, so I thought I would perform kind of lingus on her. Started going down, and god damn it, if I did not want to put her pussy on eBay. This wasn't the Virgin Mary appearing on a pancake. This was Jesus Christ himself appearing between this girl's legs. She, her snatch was the nappy-headed hoe. They got Don Imus fired. I shit you not, Carrie King from Slayer started playing Rain and Blood in my fucking bedroom. I was disgusted. Fucked her anyways because I'm a squirrel trying to get my nut. I don't judge, I don't have the crown of thorn on my head. Acknowledge me. Sorry, sir. But, uh, that 
that's it for me. I heard a few laughs, and I appreciate that. Remember, Jesus loves you, and anything he can do, I can do better. My name is Dan Ursel. Thank you. Stealing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're down to the final two. Coming to the stage right now.